Yellowstone National Park is often regarded as the world's first and oldest national park after its establishment in 1872. Yellowstone is known for its astonishing beauty, ferocious wildlife and super volcano which, if it erupted, would quite frankly be a disaster for the whole human race. Although, there is no indication of this happening anytime soon. However, the deadliest killer in Yellowstone isn't the mountain lions or the wild bears, it's the hot springs, and they kill more people a year than any of the former I've just mentioned. One example of this is the horrific case of Colin Scott, who ignored safety warnings and ended up boiling alive and then dissolving after falling into one of the springs in early 2016. Colin was 23 years old. He was visiting Yellowstone from Oregon on June the 7th to see his sister Sable and wanted to find a place in the park to illegally swim. They decided to hike in a prohibited area of the park. The two disregarded several prominent warning signs in the area, instructing people to stay on the boardwalk. Sable was filming a video of the two, and it showed the two deliberately stepping off the Norris Gazer Bays in Boardwalk when disaster struck. Her brother lost his footing and slipped into the hot spring. Water temperatures at the basin typically reach 93 degrees. The Department of Health recommends that bathing temperatures do not exceed 48. According to reports, the smartphone recorded the moment that he slipped into the pool and her efforts to rescue him. Of course, her efforts were in vain. She hurried to a neighbouring museum to raise the alarm, as there was no phone signal at the hot spring. But it was too late. At this point, Colin had already begun boiling alive. When she returned with three park officers, Colin's head, upper chest and hands were visible in the hot spring. They determined that due to a lack of movement, suspected excessive temperatures and signs of severe thermal burns, he was deceased. Due to the volatile thermal environment and an approaching lightning storm, rescuers were unable to safely recover Scott's remains and decided to return in the morning. When they returned the next day, they were shocked to see Colin's body gone, but soon realised the gruesome truth of what happened. The consensus among the rescue and recovery team was that the extreme heat of the hot spring, coupled with its acidic nature, dissolved the remains. Colin had boiled alive and dissolved, his remains never to leave Yellowstone National Park. The magnificent natural elements that make Yellowstone so appealing can also make it dangerous for careless tourists. The story goes to show the importance of listening to safety measures and warning signs. They aren't there to be a burden, but to keep you alive. Since the 1800s, approximately 20 people have died as a result of some type of interaction with the park's thermal zones. Officials never did release the video to the public, but it remains on police file to this day.